On this next activity, we're gonna show you ball control. For this one, it's very important to practice at home. We are obviously in a tennis court, but you can do it anywhere. If you have a little space at home, it's all it takes, okay? This is uh, one of the ways that I started teaching Emma and Olivia how to control the ball and not swing too hard, but actually have the feeling in their hand for that soft motion. So the first exercise we're gonna do, Emma, you remember this one? Yeah. What do we call these ones? The roly poly, okay? So for your little one at home, they, you can, they can use two hands on the racket or they can use just one if you see that they can do it. The idea is that they keep a straight racket right here and a wrist a little bit firm and they can just control the ball, making a roll all around the frame of the racket, okay? Emma, can you show us five times? As you can see, Emma, she's got some practice on this. It is not easy, you still see some struggle in the little ones. All right, one, two, and every time he completes a full round around the racket frame, that's how you count it. Four and five, very good, okay? Next up, we're gonna have the bounce tap ups, which is basically tapping the ball up in the air. And for this one, you're gonna have your little one hold the racket either in a semi-western grip, which is just putting the racket down on the ground picking it up like this, kind of like pretend that you're looking in the mirror, or either a Eastern grip or a continental grip, whatever they feel more comfortable, okay? So the whole point of this is to let the ball bounce on the ground and then teach them to get the racket under the ball and tap it up. Sometimes when they're holding a semi-Western grip like this, they're gonna try to do this and it creates too much stress on the wrist. And it's gonna help them, it's not gonna help them control the ball, it's actually gonna make them lose control. It's not gonna injure the wrist or anything like that at this age, but you wanna teach them that if they're holding that grip, they have to have the palm of the hand down towards the ground and make the ball bounce on top of the racket, okay? So I'm gonna use that one. Emma, how do you like to do it? I like to do it like this. Like that? Okay, so whatever feels more comfortable for them. The idea is that we do bounce, tap, bounce, tap, bounce, tap. We don't want the ball to go over our head. It should stay just our, you know, eye level. And obviously you're gonna see your little one at home that is gonna try to hit the ball super high up and that's where the ball control part comes in, okay? You gotta show them to keep it at eye level. Emma, can you show us a, a few? Yeah. That's perfect. So if they can do about, you know, 10 of these in a row, Start easy with like five maybe and then work your way up to 10. That's what you wanna do. That's really good, Emma. Now, if you see that they can do that and they're just flat out getting bored out of this exercise, you can have them do a more advanced version which will be tapping the ball like this. Emma, can you show us that? Perfect, very good and that's how you can, uh, can practice the tap ups, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the tap downs. So it's basically the same thing. You can have your semi-western grip here and now you're gonna bounce it against the ground. So the beginner part would be just bounce, tap, bounce, tap, bounce, tap, bounce, tap. The little ones at home are gonna try to go with a big swing and they're gonna try to do it with two hands. That's just completely fine. Just teach them to have control on the hand, okay? Ready, go Emma, show us. Good, okay? And that's what we want, this little motion that they're doing here with the wrist, it's very important, especially for the forehand when they're trying to develop topspin later on, okay? Now, if you have problems, if you struggle with your kid doing this type of exercise or the top-ups, go ahead and hold their hand just so they can feel with you how you have to move. I, I, I do this all the time with uh, Red Bull players that are just in the beginning stage, especially young ones like four year olds, five year olds that don't have enough uh, arm strength to handle the racket. So I just tell them, it's like, are you ready to move? Yeah. Yeah, okay, move your feet, move your feet. And we're gonna tap, move, tap, oh no. We're gonna go again, ready? We're gonna bounce, tap, bounce, tap, bounce, tap. Now let's move this way. Bounce stuff. Let's go forward. Go. Now we're gonna go. Oh, hey, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. There you go. Okay. And that's how you help them move and understand that they have to keep their eyes on the ball and it's a more dynamic movement. Okay. 
Um, now finally we're gonna move on to the flip flop tabs which for this one you definitely need continental grip so just am I go like this hand like this slide it on the frame keep your fingers up like that okay and now we have a good range of mobility on the wrist the idea is to have bounce tap flip tap flip tap flip tap flip Emma can you try that yeah. all right show us all right this one is very difficult this one's challenging for players of any age because they really have to have that mobility on the wrist okay but they have to do it it's part of the ball control exercises that they have to master in order to control the ball okay now if they are more advanced and they can do it then you go to strict flip-flops which looks like this usually when the kids have more strength on their arm they can do it i don't think i ever show you this one emma did you yeah. i did oh okay all right can you you know how to do it okay try it oh you can see difficult <laughs> all right try one more time why don't you try with a different grip you're holding it like a semi-western grip like a forehand grip go to your backhand grip there you go oh there you go okay and those will be the four exercises that you can practice for ball control at home as you can see you don't need anything but just a small space and um, that's and the racket of course okay um, also another suggestion will be even if the ball is too difficult for your little one it's all about just keeping the racket in the arm and hand you can even use balloons or sponge balls anything softer all right ready Emma yeah. All right, let's move on to the next activity.